Welcome to my small video I wanted to make about the breathing, about, about how to optimize our breathing. We are now in the time from Corona and that then we have to have very healthy uh, lungs. So I'm talking to you from Vienna and here it is a difficult time. But I'm going to give you some good ideas. So the title is Healthy Lungs. How can we improve our lungs? And I have made a plan from eight points. So the first point is making the lungs better, how to expand the lungs. So I will show you. So we breathe in very deeply at maximum. And then we do three very short breathing in to expand the lungs and then relax very slowly. So I will now do it again without talking. So this is very good to have a bigger lung volume. The second exercise I want to show is how to improve the function of the diaphragm. And before I showed you the exercise, look to this little video here, how we see that the lateral part of the lungs and the diaphragm are going more cow down, going more down and up. So the middle part here, it's more tendon, fascia, and on the side is the muscle. So when we want to improve it, we have to to the doming, like they call it, more laterally. So I'll show you how to do it. So you put your hands below the, the ribs laterally and during the exhalation, so you push upwards cranially. So we do the same movement as the diaphragm three, four times. The next exercise I want to show you is the expiration against resistance. This is a very old yoga exercise. And for this, you put your tongue just be behind the, the teeth, the upper teeth. You breathe in. And during the exhalation, you give resistance with your tongue. The next exercise I want to show is the intermittent epoxia. So this and the, the other exercise I showed you before to exhale against resistance improves the interchange of oxygen in the lungs. So you will get improved inter, in um, gas exchange. So I will show you how to do that. So the idea is to just to stop breathing. And you keep your apnea as long as you can, and then you start breathing naturally. It's very good to do that when you're going to walk. So you close your nose and you walk without breathing. And at the moment that you feel you have to breathe, you breathe. Then you walk a little bit breathing, then you stop breathing again, and, and you do this by walking. There's a lot of research on this and it's very, very healthy and it even makes new stem cells in the lung. So it's a very good preventive thing to do. The next exercise I want to show you is the 6262. And this exercise comes from the heart rate variability research. So it improves the parasympathetic nervous system. So it makes us more relaxed. And the idea is you breathe in, six, apnea, two, exhale, breathe in, hold, exhale, 
and so on. This video, of course, longer time. I just wanted to show you the exercise. So the next exercise I want to show you is the point from Dr. Chapman. Dr. Chapman was an osteopath and he found reflex points from the lymphatic system and they from the lungs are in the intercostal space 3 and 4. And so when we massage there, you improve the lymphatic circulation of the lung. So we will show you how to do that. So you go below the the clavicle, so the, then get below the first rib, that's the first, the second, and this is the third and the fourth. So you do circulating massage on this zone, and you will see in the start it hurts a little bit, but if you go on massaging, the pain gets much better. And this, of course, you should do this a few times a day to improve the flow of the lymphatics of the lung. So we see another research they did with, uh, on people with pneumonia. So they did one group, they give the real points massage and the other points, points were not the real ones and they had much improvement massaging the real points, the exact points. The next uh, uh, technique I wanted to show you is the alternative breathing from the nostrils. This is a very old Vedic exercise that the yogis is doing. They do it by pushing the two fingers on the front and then closing the nose one side and one side. I will not show you that because then I cannot show you the exercise. So I will do it a little bit changed like this that you can see it. So I close one, one side, I breathe in on the left, breathe out on the other side, breathe the same time in, out the other side, breathe in, and this also you do it a few times. Interesting on this uh, exercise, they, they saw that the, the heart rate gets lower. And the heart rate is really very indicative of anti-aging. So the life expansion of the animals who breathe less, or the rate is less, live much longer. And you see how the mouse breathes very, very quick, doesn't live very long. And you see, the more we get down, the animals and the human being live longer. So if we can improve the heart rate, we do something very, very good for preventing illness. And the last one I wanted to show you is the humming. And there also there is a very interesting study done that if you do the humming, you increase the nitric oxide in the, in the nose. So I have a little study here where you can see it. So this is normal breathing and after humming you see that we have much more nitric oxide in the nose and that improves the circulation in the nose and uh, protects us against invaders like viruses, bacteria and so on. So I will show you how to do this. So you put yourself straight, breathe in. Mm. Thank you very much for your interest and your patience. I hope you could, I could help you a little bit in staying fitter, staying healthier and staying happy in this difficult time. Bye-bye.